Hey guys, welcome to Addy Aviates. I'm going to start off this video by showing you guys two clips. One is frame generation off and one is frame generation on. Go ahead and try to guess which one is which. But um, seriously, this is the best thing that has ever happened to my graphic settings. I'm going to show you a very simple way on how to do this. You could do this with any RTX graphics card. So follow me real quick to the tutorial. So let's not waste any time here. I know you clicked on this video to get that boost in FPS. So I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. Go to the link in the description. I'm going to have it for this website. It's going to take you to this page right here. This first file, DLSSG to FSR3. Um, go ahead and download this one, not the Tweaks Edition or the Universal. Go to Manual Download. You might have to make an account. It made me make an account the first time I did this. <laughs> but um, go to the Slow Download because it's free. It's going to start downloading and going to give you a little countdown. It's going to come up here. It's a very quick, easy download. Um, takes like one second double click on this right here this folder it's gonna say are you sure you want to do this um, go ahead and click yes if you're comfortable with it um, it's just gonna disable as it says here disable in the video signature checks because um, basically what it's doing is it's tricking your flight sim uh, into thinking that you have a 40 series graphics card because usually frame generation is only for 40 series cards um, so after you do that, then you double click and say yes, continue. Go ahead and click on this folder or file, and then go down here and click on this one and hold control while you click on it so it um, selects both of them. You want to want to open another tab of File Explorer. Find your Microsoft Flight Simulator main directory. Mine's in a different spot than most people's for some reason, um, but I have my community tabbed, which I can just go to Microsoft Flight Simulator right here. So you want to make sure you're in the folder that says Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you have Steam, most people's is in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, but for me, for some reason, it is not. It is in this configuration. I do not know why, just the way that it downloaded. So Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then you're going to take these two files and drag it into your Microsoft Flight Simulator main directory. I already have them in here, so I'm not going to do it um, again. I don't want duplicates, but... Um, I do have them in here, right here. Here's one of them, and then the other one's somewhere in here. But So as you can see, I do have them in here. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go to your actual Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, application, go into settings, turn on DX12, and then, because uh, this NVIDIA DLS frame generation is not going to be here until you turn on DLX, or DX12 and then restart your sim. Um, and then, uh, for this to work, you also have to go into your Windows settings. You have to go to display, graphics, change default graphics settings, and then turn on hardware accelerated GPU, and then restart your computer. Um, once this is on and DX12 is on, and then you press uh, where did it go? You press this, press continue. It's gonna make sure it's gonna you know change the file on your system so that it thinks you have a 4090 because as you can see here, or not a 4090, a 40 series card. Um, frame generation boosts frame rates by using AI to render additional frames. This feature requires a GeForce RTX 40 series graphics card. Now, I don't have a 40 series graphics card. I have a 3060. Um, so it basically just makes your sim think that you have a 40 series graphics card. Um, so, yep, after you um, do that, drag these two files into your Microsoft Flow Simulator main directory, the X12, hardware acceleration in the window settings, restart your computer, and then you should be able to turn frame generation on. I'm just gonna go through my settings real quick um, for how I got that first clip in the beginning, just in case you guys were wondering. This is a 3060 uh, overclocked 12 gig gigabyte card. So I have everything mostly in ultra and high. Um, Except the only thing is I have my training level detail in 100 just because I think there's no point in having it any higher than that. Um, 
But yep, those are my settings, guys. And I hope this video helps you. If it does, make sure you leave it down in the comments. Make uh, tell me that it worked. For me, I got around a 20 FPS boost um, in uh, populated areas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.